All right, so we got a simple little system here. Um, I've got the macerator crushing my iron ore. I've got my electric furnace uh, cooking it up. And then I've got my basic drawer here collecting all of the iron. Now, when you put these down to begin with, you can't actually um, move it from side to side. You need an upgrade. It's called the ejector upgrade. Uh, automatically outputs the first valid side. So it's tin plates, four tin plates around a piston, which is standard vanilla Minecraft, redstone, iron, four cobblestone, three planks. Uh, so you two of these, macerator into the furnace, and then furnace into uh, your basic drawer. And I am going to have to figure out a more efficient generator because this is going to use up a lot of my coal. So I will do a bit more research, but we are on our way to getting uh, a lot of our, well, actually our first bit of steel. And then from there we can actually move on to the nether. See you guys later. Alright, so we need to update the board here. I've made an IC2 blast furnace. Now it is the industrial craft uh, to blast furnace. So if we go down here really quick, uh, that's the electric furnace. Yeah, well, I'll put it back up there at some point. So I got that wrong, but we do need to get the blast, regular blast furnace going. So if we look up blast furnace, and I, let's see. And actually, this ain't, this is actually pretty easy. So I'll go make this really quick. Yeah. Uh, so something that uh, I forgot is that this requires a different power structure. So uh, we've come to a good point where I can introduce another tool from Industrial Craft. It's called the wrench, and this is the only way that you can pick up any of these uh, thing, any of these. Uh, machines. If you try to pick it up with a pickaxe, you lose it. It breaks it. So right shift, right click. Oh, that just moves it. Shift left click. Oh, come on. There we go. Shift right click, get, picks it up for you. It does use it though. Uh, you can also use the wrench to move the different parts of the machines around so you can have them going out the different ways that you want to. And that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I want to do either. There we go, macerator. And it's not shift, uh, right click, my fault. It's just right click and it picks it up. So I'm cooking bread in there and I got some coal dust cause I'm gonna try, I'm going to make some solar generators. Uh, so I'm not having to continually uh, use up my coal to do uh, the uh, generator. So we're going to look at this because this is going to involve, yeah, so I can't do immersive engineering one so I do have to do this guy but in order to do this correctly I'm going to need a CESU Okay, so I'm going to need this. It's a lot of bronze. And I'm going to need sulfur and gunpowder. Dang it. Yeah, I'm going to need to find sulfur. Okay, so I see SU and then in LV transformer, which is planks, two insulated tin and a coil. Okay, so not bad. Silver chest transporter. I wonder if I can use that to move those things around for when I get an actual storage and filter system going. But I'll look into that another point. All right, so you out of, yeah, you're out of energy. How much we got in here, 170? Okay. All right, so we are going to make make this actually because it's the simplest to make and I should have 
All right, so there, so I don't need that. I need that. Wood, copper, iron. I have iron. I have a single copper, which means I'm going to need to do a stack. There. And actually, this is probably more efficient, honestly. Uh, let's go over here. Block of coal coke. All right, let's just do that and put this back in there so we can get our copper going and now we're going to come over here there okay it's probably a more efficient way of moving these around but that's how we're going to do it right now There we go. All right, so six. All right. Down, down. And then, do that's four. I need eight. Yeah, I need two more. All right, so there's eight. And I had, I put all my iron in there, whoops. There. Okay, so there's the coil. So I needed two insulated in. Do I not? But I had some osmium. No, I don't think I do. So I thought I had some tin ingots. There we are. And I have some tin cables. Actually, how many do I need? I just need two. Cool. So I don't even need to make that stuff. Okay. So go here, go here, do there, and I have an LV transformer, and then that is going to be bronze. It's actually one more thing that I just thought of. Metal. What's it called? Solar. No, I'm I'm looking at a list here. There we are. Okay, so all right. So I'm going to make a metal former, and what this does is it's going to enable me to make plates and wires uh, for not significantly, but just a bit cheaper uh, than what it would be for going through the hammer and then uh, going through the cutter. So I'm going to make this real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so uh, I haven't finished all of the bronze yet, but I just wanted to show something really quick here. Uh, one of the exponential storage units that are pretty good. So it requires three dense gold, in, uh, gold plates, three dense iron plates, uh, two diamonds, four chests, and a wood casing, which if we look at this is four planks, four sticks, and a log. Uh, and then if we put this in here, we get a small storage crate. And we I made three. I only need two for the recipe, but I'm going to put one down. And this is one crate, which is significantly bigger than this thing. So 
this once I get enough diamonds and enough materials I'm gonna start making a bunch of those and use this for use these for some of our bigger uh, items uh, let's see I what is needed now is it just the bronze yes it is just the bronze all right so next item on my list is to uh, go right. get the bronze and make I it have back a metal former uh, so if we click on this uh, we've got rolling, we've got cutting, we've got extruding. So if we go, well, I gotta make some more coal bricks, coal coal bricks. And I am making more um, as we go. So put those in there. And if we do one, two, three, four. Let's do rolling. Now it does take longer to uh, do it, uh, but it's cheaper by 50% to do it. So we take a look. One ingot is one plate, so it works out that way. And I got a lot of stuff going through. Cut this out for right now so we can just focus on this. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to need, because that cuts me how that cuts me from having to make these, uh, continually making those now. So that is good. Can I actually melt this down? No, but I can make a batch crafter. What an industrial workbench does. I'll have to take a look into that one. All right, so yeah, we're on our way for that one. And so the next step that we will be pursuing is making the, where'd you go? The CSU, right? That was the one I couldn't make. I'll still need coal for sulfur. So that's gonna be from gunpowder. Bronze plate, I can make that actually. That's the one that I was having trouble making though. That was the one that I was having. I think I just needed to make this so I, it was cheaper for me to do this stuff. So if I go how many does this get me? Four. Okay, that's not bad. Then this is extruding. Fuel rod. Okay. All right, good to know for when we do future stuff. All right, I will get going on making the CESU um, and get going on that. Jeez, that took a while, and I gotta make a second one. So what this is, what we're doing right now, is making a low voltage solar array. Oh, so if we take a look at this, it's eight solar panels, which is gonna be eight generators, and it's really not that, it's not difficult to make, it's just really, really annoying. <clears throat> is what it is, and I don't have my wrench. Um, so if we go back over here, grab my wrench. I have to make another one at some point. And then we put this down. There we go. We go check this out. Mm 
Now I do have a regular generator going. Uh, that was just because I needed to supplement some of the power that was being used. Um, but I will be making a second one as we get going. It's a blast. 128. Yeah. So, Cold Coke and the generators here uh, does a pretty good um, power outage. I also was experimenting with a couple of other ones. Uh, down here we got a couple of water mills and a windmill. So if we look at these, so a water mill, uh, it's fairly cheap and it gives you two, and a windmill is fairly cheap as well. It's a generator with four iron, and just look at the water mill again, a uh, generator with four planks and four sticks. Now the thing with the water mills is that they have to be surrounded by water in order to work. Uh, constantly. Otherwise what you can do is take a bucket of water and stick it in here uh, but you have to continually refill the bucket of water and put it back in there and all that stuff. So for those of you who like to do manual work this will be good for you but this is the setup that I found uh, a line that said that it worked pretty good uh, and you can stack it up all the way up and all the way down uh, put one there eventually you put one here but when here, so you have four going, one on each side, and then you can go down and you go up as needed. But it does have to be uh, surrounded by water, though. All right. So I'm going to go make that second one, um, and that second solar array, and then we'll go on from there.